Hey, basically, how do we go from a 3D model to a 2D animated sprite? I'm creating this hand-drawn animation, which is 8 frames in 8 directions. So in this case, I made an 8-frame animation looping 8 times, and I make sure the head and the body stay stationary. Go in Render Properties, set the Render Engine to Cycles, the device to GPU Compute, set the Render Sampling to 20, go to Film, set the Pixel Filter to the lowest possible value, enable Transparent, Next, go in Output Properties, change the resolution X and Y to 1080p, change the end frame to 64, set the frame rate to custom and set it to 20. Make sure the color is set to RGBA, set the compression to 0% to eliminate the possibilities of artifacts. Next, we set up the lighting. Shift A to add a sun. Press N and change its rotation X to 39 and rotation Z to 21. This already creates interesting shadows that will pixelize well. Next, press Shift A and add a point light. Go in Light Properties and disable Cast Shadow. Press Num7 to go to Top View. Press G to move the light to one side. Duplicate the light with Shift D and add three more lights to cover every side, like so. Press Num1 for Front View. Select the four point light. Press G, then Z to move the light up to the desired position. In this case, I move the light to highlight the face and upper areas. Next, Shift A to add a camera. Press Num1 to get to front view, then press Ctrl Alt 0 to set the camera to this view. In Camera Properties, change the type to Orthographic, change the size to 2.2. Press G and Z to move the camera so the model is framed properly. Next, we set up the outlines with freestyle. So, go to Render Properties and enable freestyle. Set the line thickness to 10. Next, we create a different freestyle line based on the material settings. Go to the model materials and match the freestyle line color to the material color like this. Next, go in View Layer Properties. In Freestyle, create as many lines set as you need. In this case, my model uses three collections, one for the body, one for the hair, and one for the cape. For each line set, enable collection, then link the appropriate collection. For the edge type, you're free to experiment. In this case, the body uses only the contour setting. Next, we want the outline to use the color set in the material. Go to Freestyle, Line Style, go to Color, leave the base color to black, add the Material modifier, use the Mix setting and set a very small number. In this case, I'm using 0 0.08. For the thickness, I set it to Outside and I set it to 1. Do the same with the other line set. Experiment with the settings to see what works best for you. We can see the different outlines using a slightly darker tone than the material color. This should pixelize quite well. Next, we set up the shader that does the pixelization. Go to Compositing, then create the shader found in this tutorial. So basically, Shift A to add a blur node. Set the X and Y to 5. Add a scale node. Shift D to duplicate the scale node. Add a pixelate node. Add a matte node, set it to divide, connect it to the X and Y of the first scale node, add a value node, connect it to the second value of the divide node, make sure the first value of the divide node is set to 1, connect the value node to the X and Y of the second scale node. This value node now controls the intensity of the pixelization. In this case, I set it to 12 because the face uses roughly the same number of pixels than my hand-drawn version. Next, add a separate HSVA node. Add a combined HSVA node. Link the S, link the V. Next, add a matte node to the V-link. 
Set it to multiply. Twitch Shift D, duplicate it two times. Set the second math node to round. And set the third one to divide. Add a value node. Connect it to the multiply and divide node. Now this value node kinda controls the color palette. In this case, I set it to 40. Next, duplicate the round node. Link the alpha to the separate node. Enable clamp. Link the round node to the alpha of the combined node. This way we don't have transparent pixels. The result is great, so we are ready to set up the scene to render every sprite. Now, there's multiple ways to do this, but here is how I do it. Shift A to add an empty object and make sure it's positioned at the base and center of the 3D model. Select the camera and shift select the empty object. Make sure it's the empty object that has the bright orange color. Press Ctrl P to parent the camera with the empty object with Keep Transform. Now the camera will move if we move the empty object. Next, we will rotate the empty object every time the animation loop to render every direction we desire. In this case, the animation is looping 8 times. 360 degrees divided by 8 equals 45 degrees. So I need to rotate the empty object 45 degrees each time the animation loops. To do this, make sure you're in object mode. Select the empty object, press N to show its properties. Make sure you're using XYZ Euler angle. Go to the first keyframe of the loop and increment 45 degrees. Press I in the model window and select rotation to add an animation keyframe. Now do the same for the whole animation. Next, press A to select every animation keyframe. Right click in interpolation. In interpolation, in interpolation mode, choose constant. Now the empty object rotation changed instantly every keyframe. Now we are ready to render before the cleanup process. In this case, in the shader, I bypass the second scale node because I want to keep my character tiny. Go to render and select render animation. Once the render is done, I find a sprite to work very well to polish the sprites. Open the first PNG rendered and open as an animation. Now we can see the render result. You can change the canvas size to something more reasonable. Then you can polish and clean up your sprite animation the way you prefer. In this case, I will first add the eyes. Then to give it a little bumpy SNES feel, I select every two frames from the moment its feet touch the ground and I move it down one pixel. It's very simple and the result is satisfying. Next, we add some movement. In this case, I will move the tip of the hair one pixel up every time the sprite is moving one space down. If you want, you can do the same with the clothes. Once you're satisfied with the result, you can select all frame and adjust the colors. In this case, I change the brightness and contrast a little. And voila! We have an animated pixel art sprite ready to use. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching.